special boy called Dion. He's going on holidays tomorrow. It would be a great start. He's eight years old. What do you want to say to Dion, John and Edward? I want to say a big shout out to him, okay, and make sure they have an amazing summer, and they have fun in school, and I get loads and loads of water balloons, and make sure they have a huge water fight this summer. And basically, every single person listening to the radio right now, turn it up right now so you can hear exactly what we're saying. Well, we want to know what you're up to because I'm told that you're coming to the grounds of Arklow Town Soccer, Cl- uh, Soccer Club in Lamberton, which is not too far away from Wexford, and uh, Sunday next, the 6th of May. How come? Yeah, we're coming there because we're, we're, we're going to say hey to everybody. We're going to perform and we're going to like sing Waterline, sing like those of our songs. We want everyone to come down and check us out. I'm really excited about coming to Arklow because I haven't been there in, in like ages. I'm really excited because it's going to be so awesome. We're going to perform our songs for our album and you know, all the fans and like... It's really, really cool. And you're busy, boys. You've got a. We're so uh, busy. We're always doing stuff. It's crazy. And we got a brand new album coming out, the, coming out um, in June, and it's called Young Love, and it's really cool. Our fans are so excited about it, and we're so excited about it as well. Mm-hmm. Our fans are like, "Whoa, it's so cool." Now, I know the secret to your success because I met you, of course, when you were down in Tesco's in Wexford on your, yeah. your tour the last time before you played at the Opera House here in Wexford. And you boys are heavily into your fruit. So you're going to tell all the youngsters listening at the moment, got to stay healthy, stay well by eating lots of fruit. Guys, okay, can we get real okay? Fruits aren't bad for you. I know you always see in the movies and kids are always like, oh my God, mom, I don't want vegetables. Like, they're not that bad. Like, they're good for you. They give you loads of energy, loads of fruit. We have loads of smoothies with grapes and bananas. The only fruit we don't really get is apples because they're like full on like really really like hard to eat but we basically we eat all the other fruit like bananas and everything they're all really, really good but anyway basically me and John we're really excited to come to Arklow it's going to be really, really it's going to be lots of fun hopefully it doesn't rain but if it does rain we'll be okay with it because we'll put extra hairspray in our hair extra so are you going to do a bit of sporting activity as well are you going to kick a few soccer balls yeah, footballs I know, I know there's like loads of different things happening but like me and John Usually we get there and it's like crazy and we can't like move because like there's always people like crowding us and like there's, everyone wants a picture and everyone wants an autograph and we try our best to like meet everybody but then, but then like usually it's just too crazy and then we've got to get out of there. I know, okay. I know you're runners, I know you love running so what about football or sport? Did you ever play hurling or, or game yeah, football? I remember me and John, we used to always do hurling every single Friday morning in primary school or Gaelic and I remember we used to do all the different types of sports and John was really into soccer and he'd always like a really, really good kick in the ball. Yeah. He'd take all the penalties and everything. I'd usually be in goals. Yeah. Cause, and then I, was, I remember we used to play loads of rugby as well. I used to play full back. Johnny used to play centre. And then sometimes he'd play wing as well. All right. Well, and the running, though, everyone talks about your running. You, you had good success in that in athletics, didn't you? Yeah. We, I remember me and John. We, the thing about it is me and John, that we used to, used to always keep us focused in school because we do running. And then it always, like, keep us, um, our mentality focus because we usually be in school and you get so zonked into like exams and everything but it's nice to ask school to go running and you have like your own friends and everyone in your running club and everything yeah so you, you, you look you're, you're sending out all great advice here today the mums and dads will be delighted with you running eating healthy food eating your vegetables yes. eating lots of fruit okay now, everyone get... has to tune in to OT2FM oh, 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 we're going to okay. be talking about we're going to be talking about single and stuff Oh, well, you're very bold for getting that out on air here though, this morning. I'm cross with you. But listen, can you talk to me about Eurovision? Talk to me a little bit about Eurovision. What's happening okay, with Eurovision? Eurovision. Basically, um, we're leaving on next week. We're going to be on the late show next week. And we're gonna, it's going to be like a farewell, goodbye um, from Wardline. And then we'll have like new outfits and everything. And then Ryan Tobin will say bye to us. And then on the weekend, we'll get all together, all our outfits. Right now, loads of outfits being made for us. Like, we designed them and they're all being getting made. And then Eurovision outfit are costs and everything. Are they going to be we'll space get, age, Edward, are they? They're going to be really, really good. We're going to have them. Um, we're going to have, oh yeah, we did, right now, we just, uh, next week, we're doing all the rehearsals and everything for our whole performance, like all the staging, all the choreography. And then we're going to get our hair cut because we're going to be out there for like two weeks and we don't want some crazy person cutting our hair because they might like shave it all off. So we're going to a reliable person to cut our hair in Ireland. And then we're going to get maybe our hair highlighted so it's not brown and stage, it's all blonde. Yeah. And um, then that, that's it. And then we go out there and we do loads of interviews. Because literally, when you, go to the, when you go to Azerbaijan, the whole world comes to you. So you be doing interviews all around the world, Russia, um, everywhere, like Australia. They all come to the Eurovision host country. So it's going to be like total line to get with. Yeah, did again. you enjoy your big brother experience? Oh, well, I think we just saw ourselves on a bus. Were we on a bus? What? A bus just drove by and we're on it. It's real good. Oh, yeah. uh, we, we, we always get excited. What are, you, what are you asking? No, the time you were in the Big Brother house, I just wanted to ask you, did you enjoy that experience? I think when me and John Big Brother, it showed to everybody that we're not just lazing around the home. Like I remember we were in Big Brother that we, all, we had so much fun. That's usually me and John, we usually just like 
try and find the best of a situation because if you were in Big Brother and you you didn't know what to do, so me and John just entertained ourselves and we did, like the loads they made a toast. Now, I know it wasn't shown over in Ireland because on Channel Five and only like a couple of people got to see it, but it was insane. And we got to meet. We were in there with Kerry Katona. We we're in there with Amy Child. We we're in there with Tyra Reid. It was crazy. Lee wants to know were you in there with Georgia? Yeah, no, that was the next. That was the next year. That was the okay. one after us. Our one was way better. But it was really weird because when we went in there, we never like. It was like, I felt like we were in boarding school or something, mm. being in the Big Brother house, but it was real fun. Real fun. Listen, you, you guys, I know you're under ferocious pressure there, so I wish you the very best. Look, Dion, unfortunately, he was getting ready to go out and he missed you say hello to him. So will you say hello to Dion again? Hey, Dion, okay, you totally rock. Okay, basically, okay, Dion, you're really, really cool. I know you're, like, leaving for school, whatever you're doing right now. You're probably not in school, but whatever, no big deal. And everyone else is out sick right now. Get better. Get back to school. I think there's a long weekend. There's a long weekend coming up, isn't there? There long is indeed, yeah, this weekend. Yeah. That's that's where you're going to be. It's so, a long weekend. Yeah, so en good. enjoy your trip to the Arklow Town Soccer Club, Lambert Town Arklow. It's on Sunday next, 6th of May. You're there at what time, the, by the way? The, what the green cape on is out tomorrow. So I went down, all the proceeds go to ISPCC. Okay, that's your that's your Euro 12, your two Euro 12. Euro 12 oh, boy, you're very bold. You're very, very bold. I cut your hair next time I see you. Good luck to you. Bye bye. Bye-bye. That was John and Edward Jedward there, bringing us to a manic end to today's edition of The Morning Mix.